Subscriber alert, subscriber alert. Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated A for awesome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and you're welcome. Enjoy. What's up everyone welcome back to the show it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber guys and here we are we are going to be taking a look at heavy metal f-a-k-k-2 dr e chiona chiona chiane chiona cheetos all right guys uh if you guys didn't see my last review of sawyer and i can go ahead and check him out uh we're doing my 31 days of halloween and i'm opening up some vintage retro goodness so if you're wondering it is from the year 2000 um there is dr e chioni chion chiona chiona chi 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 chia uh let's go ahead and take this guy out of package man let's quit wasting time and let's get to the reviewing so put that box off to the side here is dr chiona let's take him out the package and holy crap holy crap there's a lot of stuff going on with him let me bring my camera down just a little bit <laughs> dude this is by far one of the creepiest creepiest things i've ever seen so <laughs> um all right where do we start let's start at the top all right so he has like four arms here one arm i'm guessing it's a blade a little warped and then he has another arm right here um and then he has some arms back here in the back which i don't think can come around they're just kind of in the back they're in the back hanging around creepy hands in the back hanging around that's creepy you can't rotate them because these arms right here that's in between them they're kind of stuck so their arms in the back so i guess maybe maybe what they were going for maybe you could twist the head and there you go you twist the head around and then you can he's with you in the back <laughs> yeah that, that's pretty creepy all right let's twist his head back around <clears throat> So it comes with this little blade right here, which you guys saw already. It's a little warped, if you guys can see that. Kind of like a saw, little mini saw blade attached to his grasshopper arm. Don't ask. And then he has his other arm with another blade and then finger with a blade attached right there. And then he has this mechanical arm right here, which... It's attached to his waist. There's no movement right there. It's just attached to his waist. But he does have like a bend break right there. Which is pretty damn unique. And then it has another point of articulation right there. To where you can, I think, yeah, bend it. It looks bendable. But uh, it doesn't. I don't think it's moving. It can bend. But yeah. It's probably been in the package a little bit too long. And then you come down to his legs. <laughs> Dude. and then yeah right there you can see he has this mechanical piece right here and he has like a skeleton bone kind of like a robot thing no movement no articulation at the ankles right here this is what happens when you have too many donuts <laughs> um and then legs do kick out that much speaking of legs and they do kick back that much that one that much kind of reminds me of a creepy earthworm gym character doesn't he <laughs> so there's his head right there same thing with sawyer noggin i've noticed there's another mouthpiece right there to keep these creatures quiet let me know guys i don't think i've ever played this is based on the game right or is this based on the uh on the uh on the uh on was it a movie was it a movie 
I don't think I've ever seen Heavy Metal F.A.K.K. 2. I remember seeing the original one, but I can't really recall the game or the movie. If you guys know, let me know. Little stitching right there for his pocket. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, this is creepy. Uh, so let's put um, Dr. Chiona, Chiana, Chiana right there. And then he comes with this awesome base, which all heavy metal figures come with. Well, this series, anyways, comes with. I think there's four in a series. So I only got two of them. And there's one of them right there. There's Tyler, a.k.a. Lord Tyler. <laughs> or Tyler, the creator. And then there's Julie right there. The only two the only two that I'm missing. I definitely would like to find the other two. And then this base is awesome, bro. The base is awesome. It's, it came with the Sawyer Noggin. Sawyer Noggin came with the same base as well. These bases are really, really dope as hell, bro. Pretty much the same thing, same base. So, uh, Dr. Chioni stands pretty much right there on the base. He's going to be off leveled because, or no, you can bend his legs. Okay, never mind. So, there is Dr. Chioni. Chiona. Dr. Chia. Dr. Ch -ch -ch Chiana. Um, so, let's do a quick measurement, guys. And if you are still here with me, thank you. So, Dr. Chiona. Chiana stands at, we'll say, seven and one fourth tall. That's between seven inches and seven and a half inches. So here he is with Sawyer Noggin. Actually, we'll move this out the way. Sawyer Noggin. He's taller than Sawyer Noggin. Um, and then just for the hell of it, one of my last reviews of <coughs> Arachnoid Rush Octane. Octane. That's how he measures up with Octane. And my custom Vampire Knight Batman. So yeah, he's about the same size as this guy right here. That's pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. And then why not? Let's bring in Let's bring in Van Helsing. Van Helsing. There is Van Helsing right there with Dr. Chiona. I think Van Helsing wants to hunt him bad. All right, guys, so let me give you my rating. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, you know, this guy's pretty unique. Uh, he's definitely really cool, really creepy, interesting. I'm going to give him like a... You know what? I'll be very generous. I'll give him like a 6.8, you know... With a with this right here, I'll give him like a 7.1 with the base including. So 6.8 for the figure with the base, it's like a 7.1. I like this guy. He is creepy cool. Really, really unique figure. Uh, something that I guarantee you don't have in your collection because I don't. And I have a lot of cool creepy stuff. So there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts on Dr. Chiana. <laughs> if I'm saying his name right. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out, homie.